Now for this part of the question, we're given these unit vectors i and j being in the directions of east and north respectively. And the velocity of this ship q, vq I've called it, is given by the vector 3i plus 4j kilometers per hour. And we've got to find then the bearing that Q is heading on. So to do something like this, I'd want to illustrate this vector first of all. So let's just say that it's something like this, okay? That is that, uh, we'll label this VQ, that is that it is essentially three units to the right and four units up, okay? So we've got that. So that's three units that way, four units that way. Now when it comes to the bearing that ship Q is going on, what we mean is that if we insert a north line here, it's this angle here. Remember bearings turn in a clockwise sense from north. So it's this angle theta that we're after. And I could work out this one and then take it away from 90 degrees to get this angle. Alternatively, I could say that this angle up here is theta. These are alternate angles. Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle, so all we need to do, basic trigonometry here. And we can say that the tan of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent side. So tan theta equals opposite 3 over the adjacent side 4. And to get theta, it's going to obviously be the inverse tan of 3 quarters. And if you do that, you'll find that you get 36.8698 and so on, and that would be in degrees. Now when we give a bearing, we often give it as a three-figure bearing. So if we give this to the nearest degree, it would be 37 degrees, but we can say that the bearing okay that uh, that Q sails on is going to be equal to 037 037 degrees to nearest degree and that's how I would present my answer anyway okay